I began my work as the director of music at St. Mary's Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception before having a family. In fact, my first child was due December 8th, 1996, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. As all mothers know, patients, both in pregnancy and motherhood, are a must. And who but the mother of our Lord, Mary, is a better example to us. Babies arrive when they are ready, and my firstborn wanted me to complete the many Christmas liturgies before her arrival. Yep, on December 28, 1996, the Feast of the Holy Innocents, Elizabeth Clare came into the world. I was still experiencing the excitement and joy of the many beautiful Christmas liturgies, and I felt a special honor to have given birth so close to the birth of Jesus. My two daughters, Elizabeth and Catherine, have only known life with a music director mother, meaning Christmas and Easter mornings were not the same as their friends. But I actually think they now feel fortunate for having had this experience and connection to the liturgy. I've always had an affinity for Marian music, fitting being at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. And I incorporate Marian music especially beautiful choral anthems, whenever I can. OCP now has a choral series, the Marian Choral Series, filled with beautiful settings of Magnificats, Ave Marias, and other Marian texts. The Marian antiphon, Alma Redem Torres Mater, which was traditionally sung after night prayer from the beginning of Advent through February 1st, is one of my favorite chants. Featured in our Trinitas series, Robert Benson has beautifully arranged this ancient chant for SATB choir, piano, and cello. He couples the old and the new. In other words, he begins and ends the piece with a solo cello playing the chant, and then layers the voices and instrumentation throughout. It's appropriate on any Marian feast day, but in particular, Immaculate Conception. It's gorgeous. Let's take a listen.
Another Marian anthem that I really love is a newer composition by Larry Tice called And Mary Said, using the text of the Magnificat. Score for women's voices, this beautiful and prayerful setting is ideal for Advent, Immaculate Conception, Christmas, and the Assumption. Its part rating is straightforward and accessible, making it easy to learn and stunning. I feel so honored to do what I do at the cathedral and here at OCP and to be a mother. My work in the church has influenced who my daughters are. They understand, know, and value the importance of ministry. It is the synergy between my work at OCP and the cathedral that I value so much. I have the opportunity to bring to life the music we publish in a beautiful sacred space. I'm forever grateful for the amazing choral music that OCP publishes for the church and for the opportunity to experience its beauty in the liturgy.